by default Nature provides an option of mass update the name itself clearly says to perform update on a bulk records so in order to update any record navigate to list mass update and then click on mass updates and once you open that mass update space on the left hand side you can see multiple options under the tab called as action where we have a general updates when you expand this general updates you can see all the options or the records available for general updates we have customer and items the transactions as well in the same way we have other options like let's say customer support and services if you want to change the case status in a bulk or you want to delete cases or inactivate cases so you can see all the mass updates provided by Netsuite in this particular page now let's try to perform some general mass update on a sales order record so i'm going to navigate to general mass updates and then i'm going to scroll down to transaction section and then i'm going to click on the sales order record once i click on the sales order record it looks like more of a creation of save switch now i'd like to add some criteria and by default there are some results i'm going to leave it as it is and here we have an audience section schedule we can also schedule this mass update so if i just go on the right hand side we have a section called as mass update fields i'm going to click on that mass update fields so right now if you see by default for transaction sales order we have very few fields which are body level fields like memo sales rep partner and all those things but if you clearly notice we don't have option of many other fields which are available in uh, sales order transaction record and if you clearly notice even we don't have option of line level fields try to update a body level field called as memo so i'm going to set the value for memo as speed script studios as a value for the memo field and in the criteria section i'm going to select specific sales orders so now i have added a criteria for this mass update where the internal id is 22504 22503 of the sales order so this is my sales order which is 22504 in the memo section it is empty currently in the same way i have another sales order even here the memo field is empty so these are the two sales orders which i have filtered in my mass update so now let's click on preview so right now you can see mass update preview results here we have an option of apply where we can select which record you want to perform the update on the right hand side you can see memo those two values are empty we have an option of perform update and we have an option of save i'm not going to save this mass update instead of that i'm going to click on perform update here it also shows you which fields we're going to perform the updates so it says the new value which we're going to add for the memo field is with script studios so if i just click on perform update it shows a message saying your mass update is complete and has been successfully performed on two records now let's go to our two records which is 2211 i'm going to refresh this page and we can see the value as memo switch script studios let's check the another sales order so even i'm going to refresh this sales order as well yet here also we can see the value as switch script studios if i just scroll down and if i just click on system information initially the mass update value was empty and the new value currently is switch script studios and it has been set by a context called as mass update so if you clearly notice on this mass update which is provided by netsuite itself it does not have options for to update all the fields and also some line level values for this transaction sales order so that is where our mass update script comes into picture so now let's see the documentation what does this mass update script means it clearly says mass update scripts allows you to programmatically perform custom updates to fields that are not available through general mass updates so this is where our mass update script comes into picture now let's create our mass update script using our visual studio code i'm going to right click on the suit script type folder and click create suit script file i'm going to select mass update script here i'm going to select only one module called as record module and i'm going to click ok i'm going to provide some name for this let's say mass update now here we have a basic syntax of our mass update script and by default this has an entry point called as each and this each entry point accepts one parameter called as params and this params is an object parameter which has a two keys which is like type and the id the type is the type reference to record type of the record being processed and the id represents to the id of the record being processed now we will make use of this mass update script in order to update our sales orders so in the sales order we will try to update the line level fields with the quantity field where we do not have an option in the mass update where it just has very few level fields which are available for the mass update which is provided by netsuite ui we will try to use this mass update script in order to update the line level values actually you can even do this using a csv input but as of now we'll just try to make use of mass update script in order to perform this operation 
Now in our mass update script, let's try to add few lines of code on this each. So first I'm going to lock this argument, which is params. And then we will try to load the record, which is our sales order record. So I have used the API called as record.load API. And this accepts two parameters, the type and ID. Already we know that the argument carries the type of the record and also the internal ID of the record. So I have just passed the values from, from my argument itself, which is params.type and params.id. And then we'll try to get the line count of the sales order. Since we're gonna update the quantity of this each lines on the sales order, we have to get the line count of this particular item sublist. So I'm gonna get the line count of this item sublist. And once we get the line count of this item sublist, we have to loop through this item sublist. We have to set the quantity value so I'm going to loop through. So in order to do that, I'm going to add a for loop. So which is going to loop through my item sublist. In the item sublist, we're going to set all the quantities to five by using the set sublist value API. And then finally, we're going to save this record. And also I'm going to log the ID, which is being saved or the record, which is being saved. Now I will just explain how did I arrive with all this API. And this is just for the persons who are new to this uh, mass update script and don't know how to find all this API. So in order to do that, you just go to your help center by clicking help on this. And then you just search for record module and just click on n slash record module. And in the bottom, you can see all the APIs available. So I'm going to search for record dot load, which actually loads my existing record. And then after loading a record, I have used this OBJ record, which actually gets returned from this record.load API as an object. Using the same object record, I have used the get line count. Even you can find this API here. So here we have the get line count API, which returns the number. And using the line count, we have looped through the item sublist. And then we have used record.sublist value. I'm going to search for set sublist value. Here we have an API of set sublist value. And then finally, we have used record.save. You can see there is an API called as record.save and it actually returns the ID of the record which is getting saved. So that is where I have logged the ID of this particular record. Now let's upload this code to Netshoot and create a script record and script deployment for this mass update script. So in order to create a script record, I'm going to navigate to customization, scripting, scripts and then click on new. So in this page, select your file. So I have selected my file and I'm going to click create script record. I'm going to provide some name for this mass update script and the ID for this mass update script. I'm going to click on save. Now here we have an option of deploy script and here we can see the file has been recognized and the type is being recognized as mass update script by Netshoot. And here we have the each entry point function being checked. I'm going to click on this deploy script and right now we are on the page of script deployment. We are going to perform this mass update script on the sales order record. So I'm going to select the applies to option here, which is my sales order. And let's leave the test status as testing, log level as debug, current role, and let's leave the execute as role as current role itself. And I'm just going to provide the ID here as test mass update. And make sure to check all roles and all employees. Since we are just going to perform some tests on this mass update script, I'm going to leave the status as testing itself. I'm just going to click save. Now, how to test this mass update script? In order to test our mass update script, I'm just going to navigate list mass update. And then I'm going to click on mass updates and we have seen all the options like general updates and few other updates, which is provided by native Netsuite. If I just scroll down here, we have an option of custom updates. I'm just going to expand this. So this custom updates already provides you an option of sales order since we just made a deployment on sales order record. And here we can see our script deployment name, which is sweet script mass update on test on SO test. Now, if I just click on this sweet scripts mass updates on SO test, it opens you an option of for this mass update also. So here you can see the type of sales order action on the right hand side, which refers to a script deployment. And now we can provide our filter criteria in order to filter the sales order, which we want to update. So as of now, I have provided a basic criteria for this mass updates, the custom mass update, which we are performing, where the internal ID refers to the internal ID of my sales order, which is 22504 and 22503. And these are the sales orders, which has the quantity as one and even the another sales order which has the quantity as one now let's try to preview this and if you clearly notice when i click preview it has shown me those two results of the sales order which i'm trying to update now here i have an option of perform update and also save if i just click perform update it is going to trigger my script and there is an option of save also as of now instead of performing update 
I'm just going to click save on this. So I'm going to click save. A title for this saved mass update is custom custom updates. So how can I access this again or if I have to run this mass update script, how should I do this? So if you just navigate to the list, mass updates and then click on saved mass updates. Here we have an option of again, which we just saved. So I'm going to click on this custom custom updates. So the reason why I have saved is it will just be available for you whenever you need. I'm just going to click preview just to show the results one more time. Now we have an option of perform update again. So I'm going to click perform update, which is going to trigger my script. So I'm going to click perform update. So it is in progress now. So your mass update has been initialized and is in currently running. It has already updated one of our records. So there is one more record to be updated. So I'm going to click refresh. We can see your mass update is complete and has successfully updated or performed on two records. So I'm going to go back to my sales order, which we try to update. So if I just scroll down, we can see the quantity as one. So I'm going to refresh this sales order page. And if I just scroll down, we can see the quantity has been updated to five. In the same way, the another sales order, if I refresh, if I just scroll down, we can see the quantity has been updated to five. So if I just go to my script deployment of this mass update, and if I just click on the execution log, you can see the input passed for this mass update script is ID 22503 and the type has been passed as sales order. So in our execution log, we can see around four different logs. This is just because in our script, in the each entry point, we have two logs. So this each entry point acts as a loop. So for each and every result in our mass update, so this each entry point gets triggered and performs the operation or the logic which we had done inside that each entry point. So if you guys like to delete a record instead of updating the quantity, you can make use of record.delete API and just pass the type and ID, which is going to perform the delete operation. So on the other side, the same mass update also has an option of scheduling also. As of now, we have just triggered this manually. If you just like to schedule, you can just update the schedule section. So as per the schedule, the mass updates will get triggered on the back end. So this mass update script is really useful for the persons who want to update some records on a bulk and if you want to delete some records on a bulk, this will be really useful.